area model for division with a three-digit divisor. All right, well, the first thing I'm going to show you is that we have 127 on the outside of this box and this big number on the inside. If we were to do long division, it would have looked like this if we had done it the old-fashioned way, okay? That would have been on the inside, this would have been on the outside, just like this is, okay? So, what we're going to ask ourselves is, can 127 go into 3? No. Can it go into 30? No. Can it go into, three, can it go into 306? Yes, it can. So that is going to be the number that we put it into. So how many times can 127 go into 306? Well, let's do some math on the side. What is it times 2? That's 14. 2 times 2 is 4, and 1 more is 5. And that's 2. 254. Do you think we can fit another one? Another 127 on top of that? No, I don't think so. So let's go with 2. So we're going to put a 2 above the 6 because that's where we stopped at 306. And we know that 127 times 2 is 254. So now we're going to fill in zeros right here. Because these spaces are done and they're going to go that way. So it's the zero and the seven's turn to come down here. And we get to subtract. Six take away four is two. And can you see this? 30 take away 25. Do we really need to borrow from the 3 and put a 1 there? Or can we just say 30 take away 25 is 5, right? So now it's this number's turn to go in a box. And we ask ourselves, how many times can 127 go into this number? Can't go into 52. It could go into 520, though. So that's the number we're going to put it into, 520. So how many times can 127 go into 520? Let's try 3 and see what happens. 7 times 3 is 21. 3 times 2 is 6. 7, 8. And 3. 381. Hmm. You think maybe one more might fit in there? Let's try it. Seven times four is twenty-eight. Six, seven, eight. Whoops, that's twenty-eight. Four times two is eight. Nine, ten. Ooh, I almost made a boo-boo there. Four times one is four. Plus one is five, and we've got five oh eight. So four times would be five oh eight. I think that works. So we're going to put it above the zero because that's the number we're putting it into. All right. And we've got 508. All right. So now we know we can put a zero here because we're done working up there. It's the seventh turn to come down. Can you have zero and take eight away? Nope. So we're going to borrow it from the two, make it a one, and then that's going to be a ten. And ten take away eight is two. One take away zero is one. And now we've got 127. Oh, look! So now all we have to do is move this 127 into the box and say, how many times is 127 going to 127? One time. 127 times 127 is 127 with a zero left over. And our answer is 241. You can just look at it and see it. You can actually just take the numbers. If you didn't write the zeros, you could just take the numbers in order and write them like that. Or you could add them. But you actually could pick the numbers across if the zeros weren't here. Let me show you. You could just say 241, see? All right, now. I'm going to try it 
with one with remainders to show you what happens in the next video.